welcome back to this second part of the series now after this animation we need to add timer at the center for this loading animation so it will show that the loading is 100% completed so for that what we will do is we will choose our text tool and just click over here we don't need to add any text for now after that what we will do is you can choose the font color anything you want but all of these are white so i prefer to choose white color only and for the font i'll choose poppins semi bold and for pixels are 50 or font size sorry now after that what we will do is we will go to the source text and source text but before that what we need to do is we need to go to the effect and preset panel and apply slider control effect on it as we can see we have this slider control effect over here now alt click on this source text and we need to parent this link with this slider property of this slider control uh, you need to take care of that don't parent this with this you need to parent this thing with the slider now as we can see this zero is over here whatever number you are going to type here it will show in this text layer now what we need to do is select this text layer create one keyframe over here and let's make it zero hit u to select to see all those keyframes at the start it should be zero and at the four seconds where our loading is completing it should be 100 so let's type 100 over here and hit enter as we can see we are getting this kind of stuff but all we want is this things not this so for that what we will do is we will go to that expression we have just typed go to the source text over here i'll type at the start math as you can see we are getting here hit enter dot round close over here go forward and delete this close parenthesis at the end i'll close this parenthesis so now we are not getting that thing over here select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and align it over here press p for position property create one keyframe over here as we can see after 9 the position is not proper so at 9 create one keyframe hit page down button and move this text over here after 19 again create one keyframe hit page down and move it over here now after that there is no need to change in the position but after 99 at the 99 create one keyframe hit page down and now make move this 100 at the center go to the fit so we are getting this kind of loading animation now after that what we will do is we will create another composition by hitting ctrl n i'll type arrow and width should be 100 and height should be 200 now after that what i'll do is i'll select my paint tool create one tr triangle over here and i'll delete this stroke i want fill for over here so i'll choose this press ctrl alt home now hit ctrl d press s for scaling option scale it down press v and drag it over here move it over here now select this one and make it parent with this second one now create one 
position property create one keyframe over here at one second move it over here and at two seconds save this first keyframe hit ctrl c and ctrl v select this keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor by holding shift I'll make it something like this. Select this keyframes, zoom in little bit. Press Alt. By selecting press Alt and drag this over here. Now Alt click on the stopwatch. Type loop pop out expression over here and hit enter. So we are getting this kind of stuff. Now go to the main animation com, hit Ctrl 0 to open our project window and drag this arrow comp over here. Now we need to move it over here. Press S for scaling option and let's scale it down. And I'll move this over here. Press F4 and Please check this option. Again, we need to scale it down. So we are getting this kind of stuff. Move it over here. Now press Y on keyboard. And I'll bring that anchor point over here. now press r for rotation alt click on this rotation property open and close bracket in between them we will type rotation again open and close bracket we will type zero and after that we'll type plus sign and i'll add 30 into and then type index not into but at star and type index now what will happen it will duplicate that by adding 30 degree in this rotation now if i hit ctrl d it will add 30 degrees in each and every one so we are getting these copies now what i'll do is I'll simply hit page down button two times so it will move my anchor two frame forwards select all of them press alt and close bracket right click go to the keyframe assistant sequence layers and hit ok now zoom out and drag this thing up to the here so we are getting this kind of stuff make this fit press ctrl shift c and i'll type arrows animation and hit ok double click on this select all of them and drag this up to the last go to the main animation again hit ctrl d on keyboard check this out this option for both of them press s for scaling option and scale it to up to this scale it a little bit let's say 200 so we are getting this kind of stuff or instead of that i don't want this thing should be outside of this whole animation so i'll leave it up to that now after this thing happens what we need to do is we need to select all of them and hit ctrl shift c and type hard one and hit ok now we will hit ctrl d and we will check this out this option and for this one press s on keyboard to increase the scale 
let's move it over here choose this quarter again hit ctrl d press s and increase the scale up to this now what we will do is we will right click on this go to the reveal go to the reveal layer sourcing project and hit ctrl d as we can see it's hard to select both of them alt click and select this and drag this on the top of this two now go to this hard two now we don't need this animation in this comp so i'll delete this so as you can see we have only one loading animation yeah. now after that what i'll do is i'll go to this hard one i'll select all of them and i'll make it 3d also in hard 2 i'll select all of them and i'll make them 3d now after that what we will do we will see in the next part of the series so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates until then stay tuned